All right, guys, so I have a plate on here. This is quarter inch uh, steel. So I drilled the hole already just to mount it. And from here, I'm gonna start tracing out how far I need to cut out, how much I need to actually cut from horizontal. Uh, but I also gotta mock this up and uh, puncture the metal to see where I gotta drill. But I already measured, I need about two and a quarter uh, from this mounting bolt to the mounting bolt on this. So let me get to it and then I'll show you guys uh, how far I went. Not sure if you could hear me with my nephew drilling down there, but I ended up doing or finishing the mount. Well, not finishing, but drilling to, to the size that I need. It's mounted to where I need it. And all that's left is tracing uh, the shape that I want and then just cutting it. And we should be done for this and for this. I can remount everything in here. All that is said and done. So all that's left is just for my nephew to finish the drilling on the cross member. And I gotta cut this to shape. And that should be it. Then I gotta wait for parts to come in and to visit the metal shop in, on Monday. It's not that far, give or take 10 miles. But I should be picking that up early in the morning. All right, and there you guys go. This is the bracket to put the steering column from the uh, steering column brace to the 92 uh, Toyota pickup steering column. I'm not gonna paint anything right now. I'm gonna wait till I finish all the fabrication and then pull everything apart and then paint it. So let me go ahead and attach this and I'll show you guys how it looks like in the car. Steering shaft has been cut short in two inches. It's just taped together just so I could get a feel of how it's gonna look. I still gotta go buy material tomorrow and then take it to Tommy to get TIG welded and sleeved. But check that out. Mounted all the way. And the steering column is finally mounted and to the position that I need it. So here's the plate. Here's the plate that I made. It's now cut to shape, smoothened out. All that's left is just to remove everything and just uh, primer and paint. But it's it's going smoothly, surprisingly. Nothing for me ever goes smoothly. But yeah, check it out. What do you guys think? Comment down in the comments below and let me know what you guys think of what I'm doing so far. But yeah, check that out, man. It's it's set. Perfect. Back when I was waiting for my nephew to finish drilling holes in the cross member, I actually rev nut and mounted the intercooler, or not the intercooler, the oil cooler uh, for the rack and pinion and the power steering pump. So let me show you guys what he did. This is where it's supposed to mount here and here there and it's supposed to be another one there but what we ended up doing was drilling another hole at the very top right there so now instead of actually welding this on i could actually have it bolts on bolts off one bolt here one bolt there and that's it so whenever i need to replace the rack or do any other type of maintenance or for any reason i could actually bolt this on and off instead of praying since I was gonna weld it, but we ended up actually making it work into a boat on and off. So I'm extremely happy with that. But yeah, even with the beam swap, I still have room for activities, but this is supposed to work with the 22 in here, 22 R. So those of you that are still stock, you guys could buy this kit and have a wreck opinion. Again, I do wanna 
I do want to say that this kit was for 89 through 94 so none of this was meant to fit my truck or my year truck uh, for the, those of you the next generation this is straight bolts on for you so with this information I hope you guys succeed in your guys swap uh, if you guys can like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I want to thank you guys for going this far into the video and checking this out. See you guys in the next episode when I sleeve the rack and, rack and pinion uh, shaft. Later man. Take care.